Hello and welcome to our wildlife highlights from the week of April 16th, 2023. We'll start off with a shot of Terry flying in to say hello. Here's a quick shot of the A camera. This is how I zoom in to see what's going on in the nest. And here's some footage of Teresa feeding her chicks at the beginning of the week. Terry relaxing on his favorite agave stock. Here we have an Allen's hummingbird. I'll leave a link in the description to a longer video. We have a few band-tailed pigeons this week. I think I see at least seven of them here in this clip. This is Teresa sneaking into the nest from the side door so as not to wake up her sleeping chicks. Terry's hanging out a few feet away. We have some more coyote action this week. What would our best of the week videos be without at least one scrub jay? This sunset is pretty interesting when captured with the wide lens, but much more impactful when captured with the zoom lens. Terry standing watch from the middle of his territory. So Teresa frantically flew out of the nest, making her warning calls. It turns out there was a red-tailed hawk flying overhead. Looks like our little house wren is back. An acorn woodpecker preening. According to the Merlin app, this appears to be an immature male hooded oriole. A morning dove making its signature call. Terry getting a little riled up while communicating with one of his neighbors. Okay, get ready to hear a female raven's call. One of these is a female I can hear. So I talked over it, but this appears to be a juvenile female flying overhead, which upsets Teresa, and she takes off chasing after it. <laughs> 
Terry didn't seem to be too concerned as he started to follow Teresa, but then got sidetracked and started flying around with his neighbors to the west. Bees are constantly pollinating flowers in the area where I set up the camera to view the nest, which is why you've seen shots of them in the past and will probably see more of them in the future. Here we have a couple of band-tailed pigeons preening each other. I've seen them here multiple times, and I'm thinking that maybe they have a nest nearby. Terry once again on his agave stock. This is a brown crested flycatcher, so rare sighting in my area. Terry steps out of the way as Teresa comes into the nest to feed the chicks. This is a female Phenopepla, and it's the first one I've seen this year. As you'll recall, we've seen a male in this area for the last month or so, as pictured here. Here's one more shot of the female so you can see the difference between the two. As you well know, I love the sunsets over the San Fernando Valley. And we'll close out the week with a slow motion shot of Terry flying into his favorite spot in the middle of his territory. That's it for this week. Subscribe for more wildlife content coming your way.